So we are going to look at Pascal's experiment with the Mercury barometer where he had two barometers. One he left down uh, at the bottom of a mountain and another one he took to the top of the mountain. So with these barometers he was able to assess the readings. At the bottom the reading was different. Let's take an example, 75.0 centimeters of mercury. Then at the top, it, the reading was also different, 60.0 centimeters of mercury. So he realized that the readings were not the same. So why were these readings different? So as I said earlier, Pascal's experiment and we are saying Pascal had two barometers. He left one at the bottom of a mountain and climbed up with another to the top. So he had two barometers. He decided to leave one at the bottom of a mountain and then he climbed up the mountain with another barometer. So what were his observations? One. The barometer at the bottom of the mountain, the one he left at the bottom of the mountain, the reading remained the same. It remained constant in height. In other words, the reading remained the same. Okay, what about the one he used? He, he, he went up the mountain with. The reading of the barometer he climbed with up, kept reducing gradually as he progressively went higher. As he kept on moving up the mountain, the reading kept on what? Dropping. For example, if he started maybe we, at the bottom of the mountain, the reading was maybe 760 millimeters of mercury. As he climbed up, each time he moved up, the reading kept on what? Dropping. That was the barometer he used when he was climbing up. The reading kept on what? Reducing. So he was able to conclude that the higher one goes, the lower the atmospheric pressure. The higher you go, the lower the atmospheric pressure. Remember, as you are moving higher, it means the altitude is increasing. So we can conclude by saying thus the atmospheric pressure reduces or decreases with increasing altitude. As the height above the sea level, as the altitude increases, atmospheric pressure keeps on reducing. That is why at the top of the mountain, the atmospheric pressure is lower than at the bottom of the mountain. Now let's have some questions related to that. Question A, the atmospheric pressure at sea level is 76 centimeters of mercury. You see, at the bottom of the mountain, probably the atmospheric pressure was reading, the barometer was reading 76 centimeters of mercury. That is at sea level. And somebody says, find, find the length of the mercury column Find the length of a mercury column in a simple barometer. Find the length of the mercury column in a simple barometer. When the barometer is raised from sea level to a height of 2.5 kilometers, you see, when you increase the altitude, what happens? At atmospheric pressure will reduce. So they have told us the atmospheric pressure at sea level is 76 centimeters of mercury. Now they want us to find the reading. What will be the reading? What will be the length of the mercury column? When the barometer is raised, you see? When you increase the altitude now. When the barometer, simple barometer is raised from sea level to another height. And what is the height? 2.5 kilometers. They have given us the density of mercury as 13,600 kilograms per meters cubed. 
They have also given us the density of air as 1.20 kilograms per meter cubed. As you can see, the densities are in SI units. So the pressure should also be in SI unit. And remember we said, how do you convert pressure in SI unit? For example, at sea level, the pressure is what? 76 centimeters of mercury. If you convert that to SI unit, what is the SI unit of pressure? Newtons per meter squared. What did we say when you are converting? You use the formula pressure is equal to H rho G. Pressure is equal to height times the density, in this case of mercury, times acceleration due to gravity. So, when we look at, supposing we put that in the form of a diagram, like this, and we say, at sea level, at sea level, the pressure was 76 centimeters of mercury. Now, when this barometer is raised from sea level up to a height, you see, from here up to here, a height from down here up to up, the barometer has been raised to 2.5 kilometers, you see? If this is maybe the mountain, the altitude has increased from here up to here. You see, the height, which is on the side of the air, where the mountain is, the height is 2.5 kilometers. You see? What will the barometer read here? At the top of the mountain, what will be the pressure? We have already known at sea level. At sea level, the pressure is 76 centimeters of mercury. But what about the pressure? at the top here is what the examiner wants. What will be the pressure at the top? You see? What will be the pressure at the top? So we, are go we have two pressures for mercury. At the top, there is a pressure, the reading of the barometer. Then at sea level, there is also pressure. So we are, we are going to give them names. One will be pressure one, another one will be pressure two. Which one is greater? According to Pascal, the reading at the bottom here is more than the reading at the top. So this one being smaller, we shall call it pressure 1 at the top. Then this one which is bigger is pressure 2. So mercury has two pressures. Pressure 1 at the sea level at the bottom. And then pressure, okay, this is pressure 2 because it is bigger. And then the smaller one is pressure 1. Then where... While this, while this mercury is being raised from here up to here, remember there is air here. So we have two fluids. A fluid is either liquid or a gas. So we have here air. The height here, the height here is because there is here, the, the height is on the air because it has been raised from here up to here. And yet there is air here. Much as you are raising the barometer, but there is air here. So there are two fluids in this case. We shall have mercury and we shall have air. Let us separate them. We have mercury and then we have air. These are fluids. A fluid could be a liquid or a gas. This one is a gas. This one is what? A liquid. They are both fluids. The density of mercury we were given in the question. Acceleration due to gravity, we know it. The density of air we were also given in the question. This was the density. And we also know the acceleration due to gravity. Acceleration due to gravity does not change. Now, there are two pressures for mercury. There's a pressure one at the top of the mountain because that pressure is smaller. And then there's also pressure two. This is at the bottom of the mountain, which is bigger. Now, this pressure is the same as the height given, 76 centimeters of mercury. So we shall also, because this was pressure two, the height is also, we can call it height two. That is the 76 we were given. Then the pressure one, we shall also need height 1, which is the same as pressure 1. So, what are we trying to do? We must change all these pressures into SI unit. That is newtons per meters squared. So, what do we do? When we are changing, we use the formula pressure is equal to H rho G. Now, let us look at on the side of the air. The height given on the side of the air, which the barometer was raised. You see, as you raise the barometer, you raise it through air. There is air there. The height is 2.5 kilometers. So we must change kilometers into meters, which is the SI unit. And we all know that one kilometer is 1,000 meters. What about 2.5 kilometers? You multiply by 1,000. So this is going to be our height 
in terms of meters, which is the SI unit. So you can see all these things are now in SI units. Even these ones must be in SI units. So what is not in the SI unit? Pressure 2 is not in SI unit. You see, the pressure 2 is not in SI unit. So we must change it to SI unit. By saying, how do you change centimeters of mercury into newtons per meters squared, which is the SI unit of pressure? You use H rho G. So we have two pressures. This one at the bottom and the height. So what do we do? We must get the difference by subtracting. So we shall say pressure of mercury equals to pressure of air. The pressure of mercury is equal to the pressure of air. Now mercury has two pressures. There is a P2 and there is a P1. And we know that P1 is greater than, I mean P2 is greater than P1. So we subtract by saying P2 minus P1. And how do you change P2 into from, remember P2 was... Uh, P2 was 76 centimeters of mercury. So you change it into newtons per meter squared by saying P2 is the same as H rho G minus P1, which is also H rho G. But now P2, the height will be 2. And P1, the height is also going to be 1. Now the density, we shall not say 2 or 1. Why? Because this is all about mercury. The density is the same. It is the same thing we are dealing with, mercury. So the density remains what? The same. There is no need of saying 2 and then 1, as if they are different. It is the heights which are different. The height at the bottom, that is the pressure at the bottom, is different from the pressure at the top. Now we are converting the pressure at the bottom into newtons per meter squared. And what did we say? When you are converting this, by the way, this is pressure. 76 centimeters of mercury. So when you change this into newtons per meter squared, what do you do? You use the formula pressure is H rho G. Now, because we have two pressures, another one is at the top, so we must subtract, we get the difference. This one at the top must also be H rho G. Now, this one, the height, we shall call it 2, because of pressure 2. This one, we shall call it 1, this one at the top. But the density remains the same. Why? Because it is the same mercury. Acceleration due to gravity also remains the same because it is a constant. So pressure 2, which is H rho G for pressure 2, minus pressure 1, which is at the top, the smaller pressure, the big pressure minus the smaller pressure, is actually the difference in the pressure of mercury. Equals to pressure of air. You know, height of air times the density of air times acceleration due to gravity. So you simply say pressure of mercury is equal to pressure of what? Air. Because mercury has two pressures, one at the bottom, one at the top, you have to subtract the bigger one minus the smaller one. But you convert them into newtons per meter squared by using the formula H rho G. The heights will be different because the pressures are different, height two, height one. But the densities will be the same because it is the same mercury and acceleration due to gravity is also the same. Then this side we have for air, height for air, uh, density for air, uh, acceleration due to gravity for air. Now let us substitute. What was the height to? The second, that is for pressure to, we were given 76 centimeters. So we change it into meters. How do you change centimeters into meters? One meter is the same as 100 centimeters. So when you are changing centimeters into meters, you divide. So we were given here 76. This was the height, centimeters. So we change. We divide it by, this is H2 by 100 times the density of mercury. We were given 13,600 times acceleration due to gravity is 10 minus height 1, which we are looking for. Times the density of mercury, this is still mercury, so the density remains 13,600 times 10, which is acceleration due to gravity. Then when we cross the equal sign, the other side, the height of the air side we were given was 2.5 kilometers, if you remember. Look at the diagram. 2.5 kilometers. The, 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 the barometer was raised up through air. 2.5 kilometers. And we said... You have to change this to meters by multiplying by 1 kilometer is 1,000 meters. What about 2.5 kilometers you multiply? 
So the height in terms of meters for air is 2.5 times 1,000. We have changed the kilometers into meters. Times the density of air which we were given. Remember, this density of air is here. Have you seen the density of air and the density of mercury? We were given the question. So you multiply here times the density of air times 10. Now when you multiply all this, you end up with 30,000. When you multiply all these ones, you end up with the, uh, 136000 H1. Remember there's H1 here. When you multiply when you multiply the upper one, the, num the numerator, you divide by 100, which is the denominator, you end up with 103360. Now, these are now, then you collect now the like terms. What are the like terms here? You, you take, you see, you, call, you put the numbers together. This is a number, this is a number. This one has H1. So you take this one, this side. When you take it this side, because it was minus, it becomes positive. Then this one crosses this side. When it crosses this side, When it crosses this side, what happens? Because here it was, what was here? Yes, this was positive. When it crosses this side, it becomes what? Negative. So you subtract. When you subtract, you end up with the 73360. And then this side you have 136000 H1. Because you are interested in H1, you divide both sides by 136000. So this one's the cancel, you remain with the H1. And when you divide this, you get 0 0.5394. If you are to round this, it becomes 0 0.54. These are meters. Because everything is an SI unit. So the height, the reading there, the height which the examiner wants, is 0 0.54 meters. You can change to centimeters. Why do you need to change to centimeters? By the way, there is no need. This is already correct. But if you want to change to centimeters, because the pressure 2 was in centimeters, now you also want pressure 1 to be in centimeters, you can do that. How do you do it? How do you change meters into centimeters? A meter is bigger than a centimeter. One meter is 100 centimeters. So you multiply this by 100. And your answer comes to this in terms of centimeters of mercury. Question next, that is B, reads, The air pressure at the base of a mountain, the air pressure at the base of a mountain is 75.0 centimeters of mercury, and at the top is 60.0 centimeters of mercury okay so you can see that it has reduced at the bottom of the mountain the pressure is high and when you go up at the top it is low that is according to pascal given that the average density of air is 1.25 kilograms per meter cubed and the and that of mercury the density of mercury is also given 1.3 6 times 10 to power 4 kilograms per meter cubed. Find the height of the mountain. 3 marks. So we shall still say we have two things. There is mercury and there is air. These are the fluids. Mercury is being raised. Yes, but there is also air. So we put the information for mercury. Uh... At the bottom of the mountain, where the pressure is high, we have 75.0 centimeters of mercury. We must convert this pressure into newtons per meter squared. Then at the top, there is also pressure. So the bigger pressure at the bottom is 2, then the smaller pressure at the top is 1. And the smaller pressure is 60.0 centimeters of mercury, which must also be converted to newtons per meter squared. Remember, newtons per meter squared is the SI unit of pressure. Why do we do this? Because even the density we are given is in SI units. 
the acceleration due to gravity is also in SI units. So how do we convert that? Remember, mercury is a liquid. We use pressure is H rho G. In the same way, on the side of air, they have given us the density of air, 1.25 kilograms per meter cubed. We know acceleration due to gravity is the same, 10 meters per second square. And they want the height of the mountain, you see? which is height on the air, the height on the air side. How big, how tall is that mountain on the air side? So if you put that in the form of uh, a diagram, you end up with something like this. At the bottom, pressure is high, so it is pressure two, which is given 75.0. At the top, pressure one is given, and it is small. And they want the height of this mountain from here up to there, that is on air. So they want the height of the mountain on the air side. So as we did the first uh, case, we handled the first example, we shall still say pressure of mercury is equal to pressure of air. Now remember mercury and air, they are both liquids. So the formula remains H rho G. Pressure for fluids is H rho G. So for mercury, we have two pressures. We must subtract. We get the difference in the pressure by saying pressure two, the bigger pressure at the bottom, minus pressure one. So pressure two is H rho G, minus pressure one is also H rho G. But pressure two, the height is going to be two. Pressure one, the height is going to be one. The densities will remain. We don't need to say two or one. If you say two or one, it means uh, this is a different thing, and this is also a different thing, and yet both of them is they are what? It is mercury, so there is no need. They are the same. It is the same. Acceleration due to gravity is also the same. It is only the heights which are varying, but it is the same mercury. Then on the side of pressure, on the side of pressure of air, we shall say height of air times density of air times acceleration due to gravity. Then we substitute. Uh, pressure at the bottom was 75.0, the bottom of the mountain, if you remember. This is the pressure we are talking about. It was given in centimeters, so we must change the centimeters into meters. We divide by 100. Multiply by the density of mercury, which we were, we were given the question paper, times acceleration due to gravity, which is 10, minus the height at the top of the mountain was, you see, it was 60.0. It was also in centimeters of mercury. So we also divide by 100. Why do we divide by 100? To change the centimeters into meters. Times the same density of mercury. Times acceleration due to gravity. Then on the side of air, we want the height for the air, which is actually the height of the mountain. But the density of air we were given, 1.25. Times the acceleration due to gravity, which is 10. Now, when you multiply all this for the air, you end up with 12.5 HA, which is the height for air. Now, for this one, when you handle all this, you end up with the 81600. When you handle this with the calculator, you end with the 102000. Yes, now when you subtract these two, you end up with the 2040. Zero, zero. So we shall have 20,400 being equal to 12.5 HA. Now we want HA, so we divide both sides by 12.5, 12.5. So what will be our HA? Our HA will be 1632, 1,632 meters. Remember, the height will be also in SI units. So the height of the mountain will be 1,632 meters.